Hey guys, we're back. Uh, fortunately, no co-op today because uh, Jay had to go to sleep early uh, again. It's it's mostly my fault. I've been kind of busy in the evenings, um, so I'm sure I'll have time for it tomorrow. Uh, we'll we'll get to it. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's uh, Don't let's let do that single player. Horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Ooh. That's harsh. Hey, can I actually see outside? No way. Or whatever that is. Lots of lasers. Wow, how much more testing can we do? <laughs> this is so broken. Aperture size stuff doesn't work. Alright, um... Let's have a look. So I'm guessing I wanted this. Probably to bring it onto here. And that opens up one door. Uh, and the other one is probably just make you go through that. So I'm gonna have to go and actually do this. And that would be my phone. But that's okay. And that could have that could have ended up horribly. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> <laughs> she really doesn't like Chell. And again, can you blame her? So here's the thing. I thought at the end of Portal 1, you threw a bunch of um, her her personality things into a large pit. So, I don't know what the story with that is. Uh, One moment. What's this? You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. <laughs> we'll make, make more challenging test chambers then. That, that's kind of cool though, how she has to build them. Hey GLaDOS. I wonder, actually, let's see what... He doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we got this. Gonna have to be a little closer. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's go here. Oh, I see, it stops. And this probably gives me a cube. Yep, cube. <laughs> it hits you on the head. Oh wait, it kills it kills it and makes a new one. Sweet. Alright. Uh oh. Um There you go. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle <laughs> over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Waddle. <laughs> a very insecure. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna talk about this loading screen again. It's just like every, after every test, they couldn't even fit in two tests, because that's what it was in Portal One. Is that you did two tests and then you got a loading screen until you got to the bigger ones. Huh? Let's see this. This is a uh, oh, it's a it's a cube thrower thing. Interesting. Let's go do that. Not oh, a lot of cubes. Number five. Up. Oh. Yeah, put that junk in the trash. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. <laughs> huh. Ooh. That is cool. Alright, let's see. Huh. Oh, is there much of a point in making portals this time around? Alright. There we go. It's just a matter of timing. And there you go. 
Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Oh, the elevator keeps going until she's done. Someone mentioned that, and I was kind of curious. Breathing the same air for the rest of your life. Hmm. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, oh. have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. <laughs> Oh, everything's coming apart. Alright. Oh, let's go. We. This is fun. There we go. Ta da! Alright, well, what do we do with this? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling, <laughs> being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Uh, wow. So is this, uh, is this an actual thing I could use? You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Okay. Huh. Oh, and now I get one. The question is, how do I get a portal over there? Oh, there's one right there. Okay, that's that's easy then. Please give me a cube. Uh, up there. We just drop it on. There we go. Awesome. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you, and I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Oh, I don't get it. All right, let's go. <laughs> the classic radios, with the same music playing over and over again. <laughs> Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Why, oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Now we're getting into... Ooh, oh, thank you. did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Huh. Alright. Uh, do I have to block that? I guess I do. Uh, let's see. Guess we'll just make it go somewhere else. There we go. Alright. Uh, oh, I think it's a uh, jumping test. Where does that one go? Oh, you're supposed to go over there, I think. Let's try that one first, actually. There you go, right here. Whee! Yeah, here you go. That's where the thing goes. Uh, so I gotta carry it with me. Or I could just drop it into the hole and see if, see if I can get it right on the button. Which might be possible. I'd have to be very optimistic. No. No. Too optimistic. Here we go. Would've been pretty boss if I had actually managed that. It's kind of cool how it's like all falling apart though. Anything up there? 
I guess you could, you could kind of take a peek outside, but eh, not really. So I'm, I'm curious to see if there's anywhere to portal there. Uh, whoops, nope, don't want to go there. Alright. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Ooh. That's it. That's a sign. What am I supposed to take with me? Huh. Uh, I guess there really isn't anything. I guess eventually you're supposed to. Alright. Down we go. I wonder when a good old friend, uh, what's his name? The I'm gonna call him the big ball, blue ball thing. <laughs> he wasn't dead, we saw him before. Hmm. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Alrighty. I'll go back. Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Alright. Uh huh. I see. But the thing is, it doesn't let you do that. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that was not. Uh, oh, you're supposed to bring it through here. Interesting. Oh wait, it goes right through. How does that even work? All right. Well, we can't do it like that. Uh. I'm wondering. Well, can it can it like go straight through? I don't know. Okay. Oh, uh, what about that? Oh, it can. Wow, is that the way you're actually supposed to solve it, or did I cheat? Interesting. I guess I guess the laser thing is there to misguide you. I don't know. That's fun. <laughs> I didn't know the lasers would go through the crowd. I guess they're lasers. The return. Return of what? Are these different? No, they're not. I like watching little movies. Uh, stop picking yourself, Glados. Can I jump on them? Yeah. Oh. My first death would be by crushing. Alright, let's take a look at this one. Oh, there's the, the thing. What? Well, I'm back. The aerial faith light in here is sending a distress signal. What? You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. Right, I was just lying there. You thought I was <laughs> This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. They worked, right? Couldn't believe it either. <laughs> you seem to have defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. That's hilarious. Oh, we can't talk to him anymore. Uh, let's see. There we go. We. That was fun. <laughs> a bird, can you believe it? <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, let's take a look here. Uh, so there's a laser. And an exit. Uh, I'm assuming I do not want to jump down. 
Uh, I'm just trying to find the exit thing for the laser. Oh, there it is. So, we can just... not do that, because apparently I'm not allowed to. Alright. Huh. Oh. Let's just go through there. Alright. Well, I gotta go now back over here. Oh! Oh, ow. There we go. And give me that. Oh, really? I gotta keep going back in there. Alright. Hop back in. We. You know, those things are really fun. Uh. There we go. Uh. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright. And then one last time. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. <laughs> oh boy. Cloudus is so hurtful. I, I, I like the, air, the, the aerial plates, those are really fun. You know, I think the thing I really can't wait for is to see what kind of custom content people come up with. Like, some really... Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Yeah, you were dead yesterday, so you can shut up. Uh, let's see. Uh, this feels like it's going to go straight into that laser. You know, we can try. Oh! That went really close to the laser. Alright, well, there is a cube there that I kind of want. Let's see what else is here. Oh, that's down there. So I kind of want to get over there, and I want to do it without these plates being up. Alright, well, let's just go all the way to the bottom here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like taunting me with the cube. Why, hello. Uh, I guess like this. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, there we go. Thank you for keeping the cube nice and hot for me. Uh, Okay, let's just go down like this. And did I lose it? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing it's just, just to block that. I can't really block it with myself. Okay. And then I just hop into the thing again. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Uh, let's see. Didn't expect that. Oh, now I get a new kind of cube. Let's take a look. Oh, and it goes all the way back up here. Alright. So this one is definitely... and that one needs a button, so I'm going to have to remember that and bring the cube back with me. Okay. Cubey, come here. That's awesome. It's this is this works really smoothly. All right. Uh, I wonder what that even does. All right. Well, let's let's go do this. I'd rather not go into the hot laser. Whatever they call it, uh, laser discouragement. Oh wait. <laughs> that was uh, very confusing. I'm kind of curious to see what's over there, but no. Alright. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Which is one. It's a very high number. But you know she has the best. 
<laughs> so far, no problems. What's this? It's light things. Oh, hard light bridges. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, I kind of, uh... Yeah, most of the stuff I've seen in trailers These and stuff. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't naturally do it. Yeah, probably don't want to go down there. Alrighty. I uh, guess we go over here. Well, there is that. This is really, this is actually really neat. I like how this mechanic works. Alright, uh... We're gonna need a, a thing, so... To get our cube. Oh, it's over there. Um... I think I have to go back there. Yeah. Oh wait, this actually works out really well anyways. Okay, so then I go like up... Uh, let's remove your thing. <laughs> I'm kind of a jerk. Uh, well, this is actually kind of difficult. Is it down there? I want to take a closer look. Yeah, I probably want to go over there or something. Unless it's like some other place. Alright, let's give this a try. Uh, no, actually you don't want to go there. Well, actually, maybe you do. Because I just noticed this little thing. Alright, um, except I can't really go there. Because I need to actually do it here. There we go. Wait, okay, is there something behind you? Cool. Only not with my eyes. Okay. Interesting. Alright, hopefully we can do this one. Um, except we run into a problem here. But not really. So I'm very good at sciencing. And then we can just go right back. Oh, that, that's an awesome mechanic. That was really well thought out. I like that. Okay, what we actually need to do is we need to go over there, so... Nope. There we go. Oh, well, it sort of goes in. Good enough for science. No pun intended. No pun intended, what am I kidding? Uh... Yeah, we just go back here. This is, this is interesting. You kind of have to wrap your head around it, but you know, it's, it's really Excellent. simple and well done. You're a predator, yeah. and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. <laughs> no. Sharks, sharks are much worse. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. How your science is broken. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hey! Up nope. here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird! 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 <laughs> bird! Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. 
Oh. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Alright, so we go down here and it goes into the water. Oh, it's actually over there. Um, yeah, I know there's a light bridge. But how do I get to it? Is the question. Oh, I see. Uh, right there. Simple puzzle. Uh, except for that. There we go. Now we have it. I probably need to bring it up just slightly more so I can bring it over there. There we go. And it even it even props you up because it knows. Uh, can I fire through? Oh, I can. Cool. <laughs> you know, it, it, that's how they teach you. Uh, well they done. they put problems like In this. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file. In the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. So I wonder, is she going to, like, hate on you for the next 60 years? Just, you know, constantly put you down? Probably. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh, wait. That's you in five seconds. Good luck. <laughs> uh huh. And they even have like a pushback now. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, nothing here. No more cameras for you. Huh. Oh, is there anything up here? Oh, it's a window. That didn't even look like that to me. Huh. Well... I guess we got the cubes. Oh, do not want to fall in there. That could have been potentially disastrous. Alright, let's see. And probably I'll just bring the last one with me just because I can. Alrighty. Killing more of the turrets. Oh. That guy's gone. Uh. What do I do with the. Oh, okay, I guess I just. Weird. No. Uh oh. Ow. Oh, wait. <laughs> There's another one right there. And they actually turned off the uh, lights, so there's really no point in me doing that. Alright. There we go. And one over there. See, so like, a good couple tries. There you go. Simple enough. Oh look, Gladys, you broke everything. Huh. I wanna go down there. You know, they make everything seem really big, but you know, it's just it's just one path. That's that's my problem. I, I want to explore, you know. Big tunnels to maintain and stuff. a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. Yesterday was my birthday. That puts us right into a to a room. Alright, let's let's have a look here. Oh, I see. Well I could do two of them like that. 
And then probably with the portal I'll do the last one. This is probably gonna kill me. Oh man, it almost did. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. I wonder what that is. Immortality. Probably gonna make me into a machine, too. Didn't hate me forever like that. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about <laughs> fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. So now life will just protect me. Oh boy. Oh, these are these are these are cool. I like these. All right. Um, the aerial plates. I see, and you can just jump to the other side if you really want to. Okay, well, I need to get over there somehow. Uh. Well, let's see. Uh, how would I get up there? Oh, well, there is the. Well, no, that doesn't really work. Oh, you're right. That does work. Because I stopped myself. Oh boy. Um. Oh, they really are protecting that cube. I'm just in the middle. <laughs> this is that was that was a really creative puzzle. I like that one. Uh oh. Uh, oh, I could just be in one over there. I like this one. That took me a second to figure out how I was supposed to stop myself. With I'm going the, uh, through the plate. list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. It is a small world. Oh, so I guess it's your folks? Hmm. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Gordon Freeman. Jump over it. Alright, let's have a look here. Oh, that's a laser. So I can kill them all. <laughs> that's great. Eh, still gonna kill them with more laser. Because killing things with lasers is cool. Can't really get that guy though. Oh, that! Uh, oh, that doesn't instantly kill you. Oh, you can just get him like this. Oh, that's fun as hell. <laughs> kill things with lasers. You know, that's really creepy. Oh man, and the time is just passing like no tomorrow. I'm gonna have to stop this actually. Uh, yeah. When we when we load up. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call it up, and so we'll see what it is next time. See you later.